Wow, welcome everyone. Today we have a uber unique guide for season four with Diablo 4. So I'm gonna open the chest behind me. I'm gonna get my final spark and I'll show you guys how we get all the uber uniques in the game. And here you can see we have four sparks. And here are the variety of uber unique items I have gotten in season four. Now, of course, this doesn't summarize everything. So I took a lot of time to write a very detailed guide for you guys, exactly step-by-step step how you get Uber Uniques, how to get better rate, how to kill Uber Dorio fast. Because if you look at this video, I'll teach you guys how to kill Uber Dorio fast by one-shotting it. Yes, there's a lot of ways, a lot of mechanics to do this fast. And also I'll teach you guys how to get more boss summoning materials how to farm them, how to trade them, how to find them on the trading side. And best of all, guys, I'll teach you guys how to find them cheaper, how to make a profit by selling runs for Uber Dorio, and how to get free Dorio runs. This video will include everything I learned about getting Uber Uniques and how I got all my Uber Uniques, all eight of them, because I can craft my final one, right? And finally got my health type reputation. And on the final part, I'll teach you guys how some of my friends have started to farm greater affects Uber Unique. And this is just one of them. The Tyros Might was found by a friend of a friend who wrote three triple stat with incredible rolls with damage reduction, with maximum resistance, and all resist. So this is gonna be an action-packed video for the Uber Uniques for season four. Now, because this video contains a lot of information, make sure you guys use the links below to the notes and also to everything I share with you guys, including how much are those items, those boss summoning materials selling, and also how to sell and also how to do services and how to get everything right in the game to get all your Uber Uniques. So coming over to our notes. Now, the first thing about getting Uber Uniques is that you got to notice that there are class restrictions. You cannot find all eight of the Uber Unique items because there were some class restrictions like the two-handed staff over here or the two-handed grandfather that only drops with necromancers and barbarians. If you're planning to kill Uber Unique boss like Doriel to get those, you might have to craft or you might have to make another character or craft the final piece. So keep that in mind. Now, if you haven't seen our previous video, I was getting one free spark a day using this particular method. And this is how I quickly got to my four sparks and people were getting close to eight sparks because of this. And this allows you to craft your final one to two Uber unique items to finish your completion of the Pokemons <laughs> or the Uber unique items for this season. So if you haven't seen this guide, it is very quick, very simple. The FK spark farming guide is really, really good. Now, again, I do want to refer back to the sheet sheet because if I go to my character selection, you can see I have created a character on each of the class and I am farming using the cheat sheet to get higher rates for my uber unique items that is not duplicated. So I was farming on Barbarian, I was farming on Necromancer, which are the same. I was also farming on the Druid for the final pieces. It is quite important to know this, guys. I will have a link available if you want to learn the details of this. But trust me, the rates are 5% better to get your non-duplicated Uber Uniques using those classes for those items you're looking for. Now, on the second half of this video, we'll talk about how to get more boss materials and also which of the Uber bosses you want to be fighting, which of the normal ones you want to be fighting, just because the cost and also price efficiency to get the cheapest value to go for the boss runs to get the most chance of getting your Uber Unique items. So make sure you use the timestamp for those different guides. Now, the first thing is, one of the fastest way of getting your Uber Unique items is about getting and also killing Uber Dorio. Now we'll talk about how to get more materials first, but I really want to teach you guys how to kill Uber Dorio fast before the Holy Bot Potion is nerfed. Yes, it is a Necromancer Holy Bot Potion, but you just need one Necromancer with Holy Bot Potion, and this will make your Uber Dorio runs three or two times faster. Now I have written some really detailed notes of how to do this correctly, but I figured it's probably easier if I use a replay to demonstrate to you guys. There are multiple opportunities to one-shot Doriel if you have Necromancer with a Holy Bot Potion like we did over here. So firstly guys, the first threshold you want to aim for Doriel is after the first bar of HP. Notice there's an arrow on top of Doriel. After this bar of HP, Doriel will start to charge, and you want to follow Doriel after he charges, like this. And after he charges, he's gonna swing his head upwards and then slam downwards. 
and this will summon additional monsters. During this time, the necromancer should be spamming Corpse Tendril next to Doriel to pull out the monsters next to him to prepare for the one-shot instance and also the opportunity to do this. And during this round, we didn't get lucky. We didn't pull it correctly, so we didn't one-shot Doriel. But there is another opportunity to one-shot Doriel. As you fight Doriel here, what you're going to notice is, yes, his HP is going to drop and we don't have the highest DPS. But that is okay. What you're waiting for is, you're waiting for the next opportunity for Doro to dig away. Once he dig away, then you can have another opportunity. So it is a little slow, <laughs> but we'll, we'll get there. So notice that Doro is gonna dig away, and now once he dig away, he will summon two additional monsters. During this time, you want to wait for Doro when he appears to next to one of those monsters. So here Doro comes up, right? And he's gonna summon two additional monsters while he does this. And sometimes he just summons. So this is the second opportunity. Once he digs away, and Doris died. <laughs> Doris just got one shot, by the way. Once he digs away, he will have another chance to summon more monsters. As Necromancer spams Corpse Tendril with a Holy Ball Potion, this will greatly increase the rate of you killing Uber Doriel. And this will, of course, give you greater chances of getting Uber Uniques as you kill them much, much faster. Now, of course, the notes here are much more detailed, which should help you guys learn and also get ways to kill Uber Doriel fast. And if you do have a Necromancer, not even the strongest Necromancer can solo carry this with four players. And this was a quick demonstration of showing you guys the power of Necromancers as, you know, we had a team of Necromancer. But even with one Necromancer, this can still work. As long as the team of players actually stop killing the monsters the Doriel summons, and that is enough. So as long as everybody just leave the monster to the Necromancer minion to kill, and this will be enough with a Holy Bot Potion to one to shot Doriel for a faster, much faster run. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Hey Matt, how do you get more boss materials? Yes, we can kill Uber Doriel fast, and I don't, don't mind killing it slow. So here's a part of how to get more boss summons. If you have seen the previous video, you would have noticed that around rank 17 and also rank 18, you actually get a lot of boss summoning materials. So the chest I just opened will give me tons of more boss summoning materials. And where did it go? So here I just got four more stones, right? And the rank 17 and also rank 18 chest will give you additional boss summoning materials. So as you, as you use the Helltide method, where did my stash go? So as you use the Helltime method, notice that here I just got a bunch of items. So I have gotten six storms and also additional Uber summons and also additional Andy summons. Yes, I have so many Andy summons as I cap out in me with materials. So the first thing you can do is use the AFK method to start getting those free summoning materials. You can use them yourself or even sell them after for tons of gold. Now during this time, as you play the game normally, you may be farming the egg boss or the shark boss yourself. It is a little slow, and people will be looking for rotation of boss kills with Doro, with Andy, and also with Uber bosses, and this is very normal. And similarly, you can find the Uber Doro storms coming from the world boss and also the pit, and this has a greater chance, I think, after pit 61. Now, the bigger focus is how you want to trade with players to get those items. And this is the biggest game changer. So I have the link to the trading site available for you guys and also the filter ready to show you guys how much the Doro sites are selling for. So Doro sites are actually selling for about 12 million to about 15 million. So you want to find the players that is selling the item. Don't message the player that is buying item. So they're writing here, you want to find the players that is selling. They're selling for about 15 million, about 15 million. So this means each set of Dorio, two egg and also two shard, are selling for 15 million in a whole package. Now, if you compare with Andy set, the Andy set is selling for about 11 million and selling for about 12 million. And they have the same drop rate. So right away you can see. So if you're not killing Uber bosses, it is actually cheaper, guys to be buying the set for Andy over Doriel. And this means the boss killing speed is pretty much the same for the normal bosses, and they have the same drop rate. And this is the first tip. Now, of course, guys, you can be buying all the materials for Uber Doriel. And the reason people do Uber Doriel is that you can one-shot it. I do not recommend him buying and also doing the Uber Andy because that it takes way too long. So currently, each of the storms for Uber bosses will be costing about 10 million up to 15 million. 
So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see players will be selling those items for a little higher. So here you can see about 15 million for those Uber storms. What you're looking for is you're looking for a combination of how much it costs you to have one Uber Dory run. So my recommendation of killing the Uber bosses or just normal bosses is always like this. You want to kill Uber Dorio, followed by Andy, followed by Dorio, and then followed by Uber Andy, which is, I do not recommend. It is very, very slow. Now, for those of you that doesn't want to trade, it is a little harder to get the most out of this method. But if your friends and also yourself wants to get into trade, I really do recommend doing this. And I want to make a guide for you guys after this particular guide to teach you guys how to trade. I have close to 9 billion gold. And yes, some of those gold are actually from my friend who I'm actually helping him to buy item. But I have made over 5 billion gold in the past 3 days. And that is just from trading and also selling runs and also doing different methods in the game. And that video will be coming very, very soon. I have so many ways to teach you guys how to make gold. Even if you don't plan to trade, you can sell runs and do other methods to make gold in Season 4. So coming back to our topic at hand, the Dora materials together will cost me around 50 to 80 million gold per run. And usually it's about 15 to 70 million. I'm not sure how much this will cost after making this video because price will inflate. So if you're playing a group of four friends like we did over here, everybody can contribute. So what that means is, so imagine this, instead of paying, you know, 80 or 70 million gold for one Uber Dora run, each player in the party pays 20 million. And all of a sudden, this is much cheaper and also much, much more affordable. And that's not, not all, guys. This is just the start. If you don't have all the friends, then there is another method. People on the trading side are offered to kill Uber Dorio and also Uber bosses for free. And this means they will be participating in the round, help you to kill the bosses, and notice they're listing the zone and also how much they're willing to offer to help you to kill the bosses. And this way, they are actually getting a free ride while for the players that can't kill the boss will provide the material. So if you look closely at those services and also those trades, you can find yourself free boss killing. And this means as long as you can use our method that I showed you guys previously to one-shot Dorio, you can start getting boss runs for free. And some of my friends were doing this to get tons of uber uniques just because they know how to do this. And that's not all guys, one of the best ways my friends were making tons of gold by doing Dora runs themselves is actually selling the carry service for other players. So I think what they were doing is they were buying Uber materials for Dora and then they were posting services on Discord and also on the trading chat. And they are saying, hey guys, we have Dora runs. I have materials, you just have to come in, pay me 15 million gold per run and this will get you Dorio killed for your Dorio achievement, which comes with a free spark, and also you get the loose from Dorio. So players, like in, so a lot of my friends were carrying with one necro using the method I showed you guys, and making tons of gold while doing Dorio runs. So not only do you make gold, you also farm your uber uniques. And this way, they were actually profiting about 15 to 80 million gold per run. Even when they spent 80 million gold to buy the Dorio summons, they were still making tons of gold. Because each of the players were paying them 50 million gold to join the servers, and they were making 150 million gold per run. And which allows them to buy the Dorio runs again, and to repeat this a lot of times and get tons of materials. Now, of course, during this time, as you do those methods, as you share the servers, as you carry the Uber bus for free, or as you sell those runs to kill Uber Dorio, you might find yourself like me over here to have all of your Uber uniques available, right? So what does that mean? Would you stop doing that? Well, some of my friends have not stopped doing that. So this is when we come over to the final part of the guide. <laughs> yes, they started to farm greater FX Uber uniques because they were actually making a lot of good gold just by killing Dorio using the method I share with you guys. And just to show you guys, well, my friend actually got a 15% attack speed on the Andreas Vestige, the head, the Andy head, but that's not a big deal, right? So here is a godly roll of Tyrios Might, one of the latest new Uber unique. And you can see the maximum resistance roll actually got the mass work after a few resets. So it's at 9.8 over here. If the friend get this master work to 12, imagine this. He's enjoying over 20% damage reduction and also probably close to 15% increase of maximum resistance. So this is coming from 70% close to 85% all maximum resistance. And he will be a very tanky boy no matter which class he plays. 
and this is actually pretty cool right so learning this method guys not only helps you to farm some gold get free runs you can even take it to the next level to get more greater effects for your uber uniques now, of course, I'm not saying this is easy. They have been doing this for the past three to four days, and this is, you know, some of the best items they have found. For me, I'm just happy to get all my eight Uber Uniques each of the season to complete my Pokemon collection. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll attach all the links I share with you guys over here, and together with the notes, together with different tips, and also together with the links to the services, and also ways for people communicating with each other, and also buying runs, selling services on the Discord, and also on the trading site. I'll also attach this short video to show you guys how we were killing Uber Doro super fast. And even if you miss the first window of opportunity on the first threshold, you can still do this very fast. And doing this fast means you can start to sell the servers and thus getting your Uber Uniques and also complete everything for Season 4.